What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, my name is John. Today, I'm gonna to be heading into a couple of different grocery stores to see what kind of good keto finds that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and head to a different store today. I normally go to the stores in my neighborhood, but I just wanted to venture out a little further and see if they had some better or other keto products at other stores in different areas. So let's go check it out. $4.29 for $12, can't really go wrong with you guys. You probably pay like around 10 bucks for Starbucks on it. So. I thought I had found a good find with this right here, Skinny Girl Organic Stevia, but if you look at the back, one of the first ingredients is dextrose, no bueno for keto, so gotta put that back. seem to have a pretty good selection of some different kind of like assorted meats but i got here some prosciutto this would actually be pretty expensive at other places but here we're looking at like 450 guys that's a pretty good deal and keto friendly these are pretty clutch on the ketogenic diet avocados in general but sometimes you're not in a predicament where you got a knife you can't really slice up an avocado so on the go these can be really clutch um, with trying to hit your macros and it's easy if you don't want to make guacamole you don't have to it's already made for you so it's a grab and go i did look at the ingredients they're pretty good pay attention to your ingredients guys well, some people are going to say to stay away from like your sliced cheeses unfortunately i'm not yet at the point where i can afford that really high dollar stuff so i just try to get the best stuff that i can try to get the zero carb stuff that probably always obviously doesn't have the best ingredients but it's still keto friendly so we're good okay so i found these uncured hot dogs the ingredients actually seem to be pretty legit um, the absolutely last ingredient in here is cane sugar and there's less than one carb in each hot dog so it's probably not that much yeah there's a little bit of sugar guys but most of the time anything cured or anything like this is going to have a little bit of sugar so it being the last ingredient it always means that's the least amount that it has in it so it's actually a pretty good find here and it's only about four dollars 3.99 normally you're going to pay a lot more for that for the uncured stuff all right so we did find some heavy cream for about $1.99 Comment down below, let me know if you guys know why. Some places have zero carbs in their heavy cream, other places have one carb in it. I don't understand that because I've looked at the ingredients and they're exactly the same. But this is zero, so I'm getting it. <laughs> Probably your number one find at all these guys is gonna be these Kerry Gold Butters. These things usually run like $4 at some other places. They got it for like $2.89 here. That's the kind of butter you can get right here, so $2.85. Check out what I found, you guys. This is a really good find. Got some smoked salmon here. It's about $4.50 for this whole thing, which it doesn't seem like there's a lot in here, which there's not, but this stuff's usually pretty expensive. I love to make some sushi bowls with this or some keto sushi. It's delicious, though. You guys gotta try it. They actually have quite the nut selection here. They've got tons of nuts. You just have to be careful. The flavored ones, a lot of times, they have dextrose in there. Sometimes they just have added sugars in there. But I did find these. And it's just whole ingredients in here, just the pistachios, the almonds, and the pecans. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these are about five bucks. Okay, gotta get those. Okay, so I remember when I first started out, I thought as long as it said dark chocolate in the title, that you were good to go. No, guys, you gotta read the ingredients. This says it has 11 carbs and one, 11 grams of sugar in one serving, and there's five servings in here. That's freaking 55 grams of carbs. That's insane. Or it's a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar. So just because it says dark does not mean it's keto friendly. I'm telling you guys, you cannot beat all these prices at all. Like we got avocados here, super keto, 39 cents a piece. Bags of asparagus, which now they put them in these steam bags. So you can just throw them in the microwave, pre-cook them. Very simple, very easy. Those were $1.29. We've got great sales here today. One of 
things that I find difficult to find that's low in carbs on keto is salsa. I'm gonna share one with you guys that it's legit. Margaritas salsa, one carb per serving. There's 24 servings in this whole jar. That means there's only 24 carbs in this whole jar. You're obviously not ever gonna use this whole jar. I mean, I don't know, unless you drink it yourself. But this is one of the most friendly, keto-friendly salsas I've been able to find. All these is really stepping their game up, guys. I remember I couldn't ever used to find uh, avocado oil anywhere. Now they have it, and it's actually not that expensive. $6.99 a bottle, that's not bad at all. They've got some pretty nice oils here. Just remember to get a dark bottle and you can get your oil. So I think that one of the most underused pieces of meat they got are chicken leg quarters, guys. These things are super cheap. $3.47 for a little pack of them. This comes with four. You can roast those off, get that in there. That's a good buy. They didn't have any grass-fed beef, grass beef uh, steaks. They just had some ground beef and some chuck roast. So hopefully I'll find some at the next place. We made it through an Aldi haul. That took forever because I kept trying to try to find places to film that wouldn't make people uncomfortable or like I just wouldn't get them in the sh Man, that was actually good for me too, guys. I've been really struggling with trying to push myself out of that comfort zone of like vlogging in, in public. I just wanted to give you guys better content. I want to be able to go to these stores and do some videos and I feel like that would be good for people who are trying to find some keto finds. We did find some good things there. All these pretty legit, guys. One thing I will say about this one, it's like three times the size of my store near me and so it was pretty cool to see all the things that they did have they had an abundance of keto friendly things and some good sales going on i really do love the produce for for aldi man it, you just can't beat the price there sometimes they don't have everything that i'm looking for so i got to go to several stores but they really do have the best bang for your buck at aldi's guys hope you guys did enjoy this um, trip to aldi now i think i'm getting ready to head to high v to get a few more things we'll see all right you guys we are here at high v trying to see what kind of keto good finds we can get here already i see the same Kerrygold butter that we got at Aldi for two eighty-five is four dollars here. All these where it's at. This seems to be pretty keto friendly. Some pepperoni sticks and some cheese. Only problem is it's like almost six dollars. You can probably buy the pepperoni sticks and the cheese separately, cut it up yourself, and save half of the money. <laughs> it doesn't appear that they have grass-fed beef here either. Uh, I couldn't find it, so. I guess we lost, we struck out there. We just have to get the regular stuff. <laughs> I did get that pork shoulder, pork shoulder though for 99 cents a pound. Guys, that was a good find. They do have a pretty good selection of the brand Epic, which makes like these pork rinds and like these meat sticks, different things like that. And they seem to have some pretty good ingredients in them. So uh, I might pick up some of these pork rinds, we'll see. All right, you guys, probably the best find yet. They have smart blends here. I've been looking for these for quite some time. I've never been able to find them at any of my grocery stores. I just want to try them out. Uh, they're only, they have 16 carbs, but that's 12 fiber and four erythritol, zero starches, zero sugar. So technically it's like two net carbs or something per bun. So I might have to go ahead and try these out, guys. I'm not gonna lie, they got some cool products here. It looks like the brand Swerve has come out with like some pancake batters, pancake and waffle, they got cookie, um, cake. So that's actually pretty cool. I might have to try some of those out. Looks like they're just like almond flour and lemon stuff. So pretty cool. All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm done. It's almost dark out. Spent like two and a half hours at grocery stores. Half of it was just trying to find the right time to film. Wasn't too impressed with Hy-Vee, guys. Sorry, I know you guys, the keto police are gonna get me for the sugar-free Red Bull, but man, I'm tired. I need a pick-me-up. <laughs> I need them wings. We did find a couple of cool products in there. I was actually pretty impressed with this Hy-Vee versus my Hy-Vee. It seems that the stores near me are a little on a smaller scale than these. So that was pretty cool to see like a whole keto aisle just devoted to keto. They had some really good products in there, but a lot of those products are not very good. If you start looking through the ingredient list, they all have like maltodextrin or maltitol, something bad in them that makes it unketo friendly, even though it has the name keto on it. But that's probably a bad sign when something says keto on it. Definitely pay attention. Anyways, guys, I'm tired. I'm getting ready to head all home and put all these groceries away. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you did enjoy this video on some great keto finds that you, that I found 
at my local grocery stores. Comment down below, let me know what kinds of things that you guys have in your stores near you. I know there's always some cool products out there that it's like a diamond in the rough, a hidden jewel, but I was able to find some pretty cool things and we definitely got some great keto friendly groceries. We did go ahead and film in those stores, which was one of my uh, biggest fears, I guess you could say. So we did it for you guys. I did it for the tube. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And thank you all who are subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, guys, hit that subscribe. You will not regret it. Thank you all so much. Life's too short, so have a fantastic night.